Welcome back to another VideoPad video editor tutorial with easy to follow step by step instructions. This was originally a segment in my adding green screen clips video and I'll leave a link to that in the description below. But I felt it would also be useful as a standalone video as many people might not want or need the sections related to green screens. The steps that I cover apply to all graphics and is especially useful with images that are overlaid on top of your primary video track. Resizing and repositioning is an essential and valuable video editing technique that should be in everybody's toolkit. And it's not that difficult, so let's get to it. Steve's a great dancer, but he's a little big. I think we need to resize him and reposition him. Wouldn't you know it, resizing and repositioning are considered video effects. So, after clicking once to activate your clip, from the top menu choose Video Effects and click on Scale. The Scale dialog box opens, and from here we can both resize and reposition your clip. It looks a bit confusing, but I will explain it, and it's really not that complicated once you use it a few times. If necessary, click on the Sequence Preview pane so you can see your object in relation to the rest of your video. First of all, make sure the Maintain Aspect Ratio box is ticked. This keeps your object in the correct proportion as you make it larger or smaller. Only uncheck it if you wish to distort your image and you can create extremely tall and thin or short and fat images. I am leaving it checked. Use the horizontal or vertical ratio options to resize the object. As we have the aspect ratio box ticked, it doesn't matter which one you choose. The object will automatically maintain its original proportion. Move the horizontal ratio slider bar to the left to decrease the size and move the horizontal ratio slider bar to the right to increase the size. If you're using the numeric value boxes, a value of less than 1 decreases the size of the object, and a value greater than 1 increases the size of the object. Easy. Depending upon your computer's hardware configuration, it may take some time for a video pad to process your changes. If you find using the slider bar causes too much lag, you may wish to try using the numeric value boxes. And this will hold true for all the repositioning options, too. I have to use the numeric value boxes because I have an older computer, but I think it's largely a matter of personal preference more than anything else. Use the Base X option to reposition the object to the left or right along the horizontal axis. That is, moving the Base X slider bar to the left will move your object to the left, and moving the Base X slider bar to the right will reposition the object to the right. Note that if you're using the numeric value boxes, you need a negative number value to move the object to the left and a positive number value to move the object to the right. Use the base Y option to reposition the object up or down, that is, along the vertical axis. Moving the base Y slider bar to the left moves the object higher, and moving the base Y slider bar to the right moves the object lower. If you are using the numeric value boxes, note that a negative number moves the object up, and a positive number moves the object down. The maximum value for repositioning is 100, and sometimes you might find that moving the slider bar all the way to the left or all the way to the right still does not position your object as far as you would like. When this happens, I use the offset X and Y options. You can use them the same way you use the base X and base Y options, and this should help you reposition your object to the farthest reaches of the screen. There, I told you it wasn't that bad. Don't worry, you don't have to memorize all this. I will leave this information in the description below. Thanks for watching. Tick that like button and be sure and sub to my channel. You can find all my video pad tutorials from the link in the description below.